All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, um, which is America, first off and foremost. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Karkadash. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Billy Shapai, coming at you again with a quick lesson. Um, and, and check this out. By surprise. In his song, former Atlanta, yes, Atlanta fire chief, has suggested that slavery was a part of God's plan for America. This speech took place at a Georgia Department of Labor event. Yep, Kelvin Cochran, who caused controversy for his perceived homophobia, was invited to speak at a Black History Month celebration hosted by the Georgia Department of Labor. This dumbass took the opportunity to explain how America was a part of God's divine plan. Listen to this. So he's a. <sighs> wow. And it actually was. All right. And, and yeah, a lot of our people are just gone, man. I'm pretty sure the fire chief is gone too. Not saying he gonna make it, but man, Deuteronomy 2868. And Yahweh should bring thee again into the land of Egypt, or its ships, by way thereof I spake until thee thou shalt see it no more again. Now you ain't gonna see your homeland. And there you should be sold to your enemies as by a man and by a woman. Alright? And, and no man should buy you. All right. So, no, this this was a prophecy. Yes, this was Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's plan for Israel. All right. This. Is Israel, this is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? All right. Matter of fact, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from the heritage which I gave thee. And I will cause thee, here it go, I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. There's more. Um, maybe it's maybe it's chapter three. All right, this is uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. So the Lord did it for a reproach and a curse, and to be subjected to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. And there's more. Book 4 and 6, ye were sold to the nations, not, f not for your destruction, but ye moved Yahweh to wrath, ye were delivered into your enemies. Let me get this last one on Baruch. Baruch 3 and 4. O Lord Almighty, thy power Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and their children, which have sinned before thee and hearken not to thy voice uh, of their power, for which cause these plagues or curses cleave unto us. So what this man said was not far off, but you, you got dumbasses in Israel, man. 
always has a reason for the things that he allows. Yes. Listen to this. Brace yourselves, my black brothers and sisters. Slavery in America did not catch God by surprise. In his sovereignty, God, listen, allowed Africans to be brought to America as slaves. Africa was on the eve of social, spiritual, and economic catastrophe and famine. Still going on today. Now, a lot, a lot of places in Africa was thriving. And the places that were really thriving was because it was Israelites, um, uh, uh, foreigners there, right? But nonetheless, whether Africa was on a decline or not, that's not why. That's not the reason why the Lord did it. The Lord did it because we went off. Just like when you read the book of Judges, we've been in so many captivities because we didn't listen to Yahweh Bashim Shai that we were put into captivity. So he brought six million Africans to America through the Middle Passage as slaves. Just as it was God's divine plan to enslave the nation of Israel, it was his sovereign. And, and there you go. I mean, how much more do I need to say? I didn't even know he was going to say that last part. I only watched the first 40 seconds, but now I'm in a, a minute and 13 seconds in. Now, I was about to do another lesson, but I, this popped up. That allowed Africans to be brought to America in bondage. So if you didn't catch it, basically, the people who came over on slavery were Israelites, man. It's the same plan, all right? You know, I might have to call this segment this motherfucker. Okay. Um, Cochran was. Where was he wrong, though? I guarantee you this nigga ain't going to pick up no Bible, no scriptures. They just going off fucking emotion. Fired as fire chief in 2015 after concerns were raised over the book, Who Told You That You Were Naked? He gave to his subordinates. He later won a $1.2 million wrongful termination settlement against the city and former mayor, Kasim Reed. Um, I'm a Congo. I don't know what the hell that fool talking about. <laughs> this is the stuff that people should be outraged about, talking about all of the stuff relating to comedians, th th that this man would, man, that this man would get up there and, and, and preach this ignorance and this nonsense and people in the crowd reacting to it. How? Did you, did you guys ever take the time to actually read the points he talked about? If you would have looked over to Israel going to slavery, oh, okay. You would read. You would read all the scriptures I just read and said, "Okay, that was God's plan." So even if you didn't think Israelites and Africans was the same people, you don't think the Grand Architect planned all these things out and everything's predestinated. This is the stuff that's dangerous, Roland, because we have people like this every day in all walks of life, in our schools, in our churches, in our communities, spouting this ignorance and just factually wrong on everything. Everything from Africa the, as a continent was uh, was uh, dealing with major instability at that time to the, up to the idea about that, that God allowed it. And we're talking about everything going on in Ron DeSantis and, and banned books and so on and so forth. And here you come with this man basically giving credence to everything that these white folks who are out there trying to destroy our history and remove our culture, he's justifying it by basically saying we were savages before we got here. And thank He didn't say we were savages. And that's what I mean. Like, I fucking hate the media, man. Because they'll see one thing and then they'll twist away. He never said we were savages. Now, he said that Africa was going through a uh, part of depression, which... Some of it's probably true. Some of it's not. All right. I, I personally know that certain spots in Africa was thriving during that time. All right. And other areas probably wasn't doing so hot. But the thing is, he never said we was fucking savages. Uh, that they got us out of that dark continent. And this type of conscientious stupidity is rampant. And we and I'm glad you showed this because it should remind folks that it's not just the DeSantis of the world who are trying to actively disrespect and disregard our history. And for what, Roland? People in the audience should have shut that down. But I'm glad we're here to do it now. Yeah, I would have cussed his ass out right there. I'm just letting everybody Definitely. know. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you.
No, it wasn't 3, it was 4. Let me go like, mm. All right. Hey, so with that, hey, I pray that was edifying, man. These people are stupid. Shalom.